Diddy Kong Racing. I know I say this a lot in my videos, and I'm probably going to continue with saying it in future videos, but this is another game from when I was younger that I remember playing a lot. Granted, I never owned a Nintendo 64, but I had friends and family members who did. One of my friends that lived in the same neighborhood I had lived in as a kid had a Nintendo 64, and he was also the same person that had Lego Island on PC before I did. But when we didn't play Lego Island, we were playing a lot of Nintendo 64 games. Diddy Kong Racing was one of those games we spent a lot of time playing, either playing the game single player or racing against each other. Diddy Kong Racing was developed and published by Rare. It was originally released in 1997 and only released on the Nintendo 64. Now, Diddy Kong Racing has some similarities to Mario Kart 64. First of all, it's a kart racing game, and you can use weapons to take your opponents down, and there's a nice variety of characters you can choose from that revolve around Diddy Kong and his friends. This also includes Conker and Banjo, who later had their own games, which includes Conker's Bad Fur Day and, of course, the Banjo series. Now, the development of Diddy Kong Racing began after the release of Killer Instinct 2, and originally intended on being a real-time strategy game known as Wild Cartoon Kingdom. The game was shifted to a Disney World-influenced racing game titled Pro-Am 64, and because of delays with Banjo-Kazooie, Rare felt they needed something to attract a wide audience, and they went with a video game revolving around Diddy Kong. Of course, if you don't know who Diddy Kong is, if you've played the Donkey Kong Country series, Diddy Kong is a character in those games. By the way, have you seen the list of the Kong family? That is some ass backwards shit. I mean, Donkey Kong is Cranky and Wrinkly's grandson, Diddy Kong's uncle, Candy Kong's boyfriend, and Donkey Kong Jr.'s son. There's also a lot of people in this family as well. I mean, you have Chunky Kong, Dixie Kong, Donkey Kong, Funky Kong, Kitty Kong, Lanky Kong, Swanky Kong, Tiny Kong, Bluster Kong, Dread Kong, Karate Kong, Ninja Kong, Sumo Kong, Big Dong Kong, Devon Kong, Sign Guy Kong. Hell, I'm sure there are a shitload more too. It's about as bad as the Dudleys. Diddy Kong Racing is set in Timber's Island. Timber, the tiger's parents, go on vacation and leave their son in charge of the island. Bad idea. They leave him to race around the island with his friends, and fortunately, shit happens. That's right, shit happens. An evil intergalactic pig wizard named Wizpig is looking to take over the island after he conquered his own planet's racetracks. He takes the four island guardians and turns them into his henchmen, and the only way to beat Wizpig is to win in a series of races that involves carts, hovercrafts, and airplanes. Timber sends a letter to Diddy Kong saying, What up, motherfucker? I need your goddamn help. I got some fat-ass feminist pig here that looks like the wife of somebody named him Burling, and I just need some goddamn backup. Diddy Kong is like, You need help? I'll bring help. I'll bring me and my friends Conker and Banjo. And Conker is going to be drunk as shit, and we're going to kick this fat feminist pig's ass. In Diddy Kong Racing, there are ten characters total. There's Diddy Kong, Banjo, Conker, Crunch, Timber, Tip Tup, Bumper, Pipsy, and of course there's two secret characters, Drumstick and TT. Drumstick is a rooster that is captured by Whizpig and can be rescued by running over a certain frog. TT is a stopwatch that runs time trials mode. After beating TT's record on every course, he becomes playable and has the best stats. Because yes, a clock is gonna run the show. He's gonna be the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. And then when he gets beat, he's gonna be like, FRUSTRATED IS A GODDAMN WORD FOR IT! THIS IS BULLSHIT! Each character has different stats. Some handle better than others. Some are faster, some are lighter, some are heavier, and so on. The cart is an all-around vehicle, but is slowest on sand and water. The hovercraft is designed for both sand and water, and of course the plane is to access certain areas that you can't get to with the cart or hovercraft. There are five worlds you will race at, and they are Dino Domain, Snowflake Mountain, Sherbet Island, Dragon Forest, and Future Funland. Each of these worlds has a boss, such as Tricky the Triceratops, Bluey the Walrus, Bubbler the Octopus, and Smokey the Dragon. You have to go through these bosses before you take down Whizpig. There's also another non-playable character that I should mention, Taj the Genie. He hands out golden balloons as races are won. Now, earlier I mentioned the similarities to Mario Kart 64. The differences, though, are big. While it's a kart racing game and all of that fun stuff, there is a huge difference between them, and that's what's great. First of all, in Mario Kart 64, there was no adventure. Mode. In Diddy Kong Racing, there is an adventure mode, which is the story mode of the game. Not only that, there is also an overworld to explore, many hidden secrets, and there's even a unique way of racing called 
the Silver Coin Challenge, which you must collect eight silver coins hidden throughout each course. Also, the balloons placed on each track are different colored, and they will match a specific weapon. If you hit the same colored balloons multiple times in a row, your weapons will become more powerful, and you can use the strategy of using your weapon immediately or wait until you have a powerful weapon and time your hits just right. Of course, you can play Diddy Kong Racing with friends. Matter of fact, you can play up to four players. There is a battle mode with two standard deathmatch maps, a capture the flag style game, another mode called battle where you must grab eggs and hatch three of them in your home nest, and finally there is a game where you must return ten bananas to your treasure chest, although you're limited to holding two of them at a time. There's definitely a lot of gameplay in Diddy Kong Racing, and the addition of an adventure mode with a great story, and of course a variety of multiplayer modes will bring hours of gameplay for you and your friends. Graphics for Diddy Kong Racing are damn good, especially for being on the Nintendo 64. First of all, the animations are very well done for its time. The game is very colorful and uses a ton of bright colors. The layout of the island and the overworld is really well done, and the tracks are great. The 3D character models are great. This is back when Rare was on top of their game. They knew how to make a great game, and when it comes to graphics, they knew how to put time and effort into it. There is very little flickering in this game, and a few times it glitched here and there, but that's very rare to see, and it's very little. For a game that is 20 years old, I think it looks great. The music is awesome and very well composed, ranging from the title screen music, the overworld music, and of course each track has great music as well. Just like the graphics, the music had a lot of time and effort put into it. Even to this day, I always get the music stuck in my head from the game. As for the sound effects, they're great as well, from the noises of whatever vehicle you use, and so on. The characters making noises and their little bit of voiceover work is great. It's a bit on the goofy side, but I didn't expect anything serious in a game like this. Once again, I cannot complain at all. Diddy Kong Racing does have some difficulty to it. The farther you race into the game, especially in adventure mode, the tougher your opponents will be. Also, the boss races are a bit on the tough side, but I like the difficulty. Sure, I lost a few races here and there, but I would just simply try again. Unlocking the golden balloons to get more races is a nice feature as well. Some might find Diddy Kong Racing to be tough, but it's far from impossible. If I could beat this game, anybody could beat this game. I doubt Darkseid Phil could beat this game. Oh, buggy game mechanics! Oh, Diddy Kong says... Stupid. The controls are damn good. Moving around is easy, steering is very easy, and responsive acceleration and braking is easy. It's about as easy as... No, we won't go there. It's good that the controls are very responsive in a game like this, especially any racing game. you got to have good steering response and throttle and acceleration for it to be a really good racing game. If you remember my review of Hooters Road Trip, that game was just trash. Even with those characters that might not be the best pick... The controls handle very well and are easy to understand. Diddy Kong Racing is a classic Nintendo 64 game. Hell, it's a classic in general. The gameplay is fun, the tracks are great, the adventure mode is really cool, especially for a racing game like this. And the characters are cool, especially Conker and Banjo and, of course, Diddy Kong. The graphics are very good, the music is awesome, the difficulty is great, the controls are damn good. Very few flaws with this game. I'd almost go out and say that it's better than Mario Kart 64, and I really enjoy that game a lot. I do wish there was a few mini-boss races here and there. I think that could have changed things up a little bit. I do wish there were maybe a few other characters, especially Donkey Kong. I mean, that would have been really cool to see him in this game, but it's understandable why he's not. This is a game centered around Diddy Kong. I'd have to say that Diddy Kong Racing is by far in my top 10 favorite Nintendo 64 games. I can spend hours with this game. If you haven't played Diddy Kong Racing and want to check this out, and want to try something that is a little bit more than Mario Kart 64, definitely check the game out. Unfortunately, the game cannot be found on the Wii or Wii U Virtual Console, since Microsoft now owns the rare name. But, the game is 12% rare. Prices on eBay are a little pricey, though. $18.34, $24.99, $15, $32.99, $31.95, $19.88. $49.99 for a complete inbox. And there is a cart only for $6.50. If you can find the game for under 10 to 12 bucks, that is your best bet. 15 to 18 might be worthy of getting, but anything more than that is just a little bit ridiculous to me. Now, there is a remake of Diddy Kong Racing on the Nintendo DS titled Diddy Kong Racing DS. I thought about reviewing that in this review, but I will save that for a different time, as there is enough to make it worthy of its own review. Unfortunately, there is no sequel to Diddy Kong Racing. There was originally going to 
to be one titled Donkey Kong Racing for the GameCube, but it was canceled by Nintendo. There was supposed to be another sequel titled Diddy Kong Pilot and was planned to be released on the Game Boy Advance, but that was changed into Banjo Pilot, and at a later time I will review that game. As a lot of you know, there are a lot of games in the Donkey Kong series. I have already reviewed the classic arcade game Donkey Kong, and there are plenty more to review, including Donkey Kong Country and more. I hope you enjoyed this review of Diddy Kong Racing. Thanks for watching. An evil intergalactic pig wizard in Diddy Kong... <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna fuck that fat pig's in ass. <laughs> so Timber sends an email. <laughs> Diddy Kong, hey, I got some fat feminist here taking over the island. She's all out here with her picket signs with her friends. Holy shit, that's gonna piss some people off because I said fat feminist, and now every feminist. Like, even the civil ones, yes, they're civil feminists, are gonna be pissed. There's a feminazi over here! <laughs> I should have said feminazi, who gives a shit? People need to take a joke. There's a fat feminist over here. <laughs> so Timber sends a text message to Diddy Kong, saying, What's up, motherfucker? I need your goddamn help. Diddy Kong says, Okay? <laughs> Timber's like, Hey, motherfucker, I'm gonna fuck you up if you don't get up here and help me beat this fat feminist bitch. <laughs> Who just names their character TT? Why didn't they give him, like, Clock Boy or Clock Dude or TT the Clock? TT the Cock? <laughs> blew the walrus. Bluey the walrus. Blew the walrus. What's she doing over there? She blew the walrus? <laughs> That must be that fat feminist's husband. He's the walrus. Isn't his name Tim Hurling? Tim Hurling's wife blows him. Maybe. Right? Bubble... <laughs> Bubbles... <laughs> Bobo? I, I just... I, I, I don't know what I'm doing, okay? I, I'm just, I, I, I don't know. I just want to be on the show. Bubble the... Bubbler. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! It's too bad they never brought this out on PC. <laughs> Some PC fanboy just blew his nut to that comment. I gotta take a piss right now. No! <laughs> Diddy Kong. <laughs> Dicky Kong. He's probably dicking some chick right now. He's probably dicking Kim Kardashian. What? And I like Cruncher. <laughs>